Hey, good evening. Thank you so much for joining this evening. My name's Heather. I'm the Songbird Stumper. I'm an independent stumping up demonstrator from the UK. And I'm here to show you today a couple of um, cards that I've made using the Sweet Songbird Stump set uh, that's new in the catalogue. It just launched a couple of days ago, so it's exciting times. Um, yeah, it's, it's a lovely catalogue. I only put my order in today though, so I'm a bit behind the times. I was waiting for something that needed to happen before I could put an order in. So that should be coming uh, in about a week, I hope. So how are you all? How are you keeping? I'm just looking for comments. So if my eyes divert away from the camera, please uh, do accept my apologies. Camera's here, computer's here. Um, so I'm just going to see if we can uh, get everything up and running for us. So if you're popping on live, um, it'll be lovely to see you. And uh, thanks for joining us. If you're popping on the replay, welcome. And I hope you enjoy your catch-up session. I'm going to be playing with some gorgeous new in colours today. Hey, Anne-Marie, how are you doing? I've got these gorgeous new, I don't know if you can see them properly. I'll do it again when the camera's down. Um, but we're going to be having a little bit of a play with some of the new in colours. Um, and I'll show you the stamp set too. And the stamp set. Sweet songbird. Beautiful. And being the songbird stamper, I thought this was quite apt. I probably I thought I probably ought to get this one. Hey Louise, how are you doing? Have you all had a nice day today? It's been really beautiful here. Um, I've had quite a productive day actually. I have done quite a bit of crafting and then a lot of business stuff and then a little bit of cooking actually. I did some cooking today. Just finishing off your swaps for Saturday. Ah, Anne-Marie's got team training. Anne-Marie is one of my team members and they've got team training. Sadly, I can't go because I've got to work on Saturday. But um, I'm going to be talking about joining the team shortly as well because there's a fab offer where you can get all of these stamp sets. You can get um, papers, lots of gorgeous papers. If I could join again at the moment, I would because this offer is fabulous. You could get a whole stack of papers. You can get cardstock and free paper for absolutely free on top of the normal joining offer which is fab anyway which is uh, come and join us for 99 pounds you get 130 pounds worth of product and then you can join our wonderful amazing uh, community of crafters right so i'm going to spin you over and we'll get making shall we because that's what we're here for bear with me two seconds while they spin you around somewhere like that hello lisa how are you Ah, you're just doing your swaps now, are you, Louise? <laughs> what day are we on? Thursday. You've got time. You've got time. There's still time. I I normally start a little bit ahead of schedule with swaps, but they can they can come together. Batch making can come together quite quickly, can't it? So I have got a sample ready, but I'm not going to show you. I'm going to tease you. So I'm going to show you what what kind of products we're going to be using. Um. I've got two main colours that I'm going to use, which is Sweet Sorbet. I'm going to do one card in Sweet Sorbet and one card in Starry Sky. Oh, I'm good. All good. Thank you. Lisa's good. That's brilliant. It's been quite nice. It's been up and down with the weather, cold and warm. But, um, yeah, a nice, nice finish to the day today. And I'm going to use, because I think they're fab. Hello, Catherine. Ah, from Vancouver. Wowzers. And thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to use these. I sent a couple of cards out the other day, and do you know what? In amongst all the plain envelopes, the one that I sent that had this pattern on it, just, I mean, I was like, who would not want to get that through their letterbox? So I thought I would, um, yeah, use those again. And you get a whole, I think there's 20 in a pack. All the different ink colours. They're all different designs as well. So that's the Parakeet Party, Sweet Sorbet, Tahitian Tide. Hi, Louisa. How are you? That's the Orchid Oasis. And that's the starry sky. So we're going to use the red one and the dark blue one. And it gets here to say each one comes with a coordinating envelope as well. And I think these are stunning. So yeah, that's those. And, and some glimmer paper. Now I'll tell you what, if, if you've got this in the joining offer as well, then I'd probably even consider dropping and rejoining. But you don't. But you can put it in with your starter kit. There's always that option. I have had somebody join up today and I've got somebody joining up next week, which is over the moon exciting. And I can't wait to see where their journeys take them. Just having some fun with some crafty friends. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Hello, Lisa Dressel from Arkansas in the USA. Wowzers. Thank you so much for joining us. 
What's it like over in Canada and the USA today? What's your weather doing? I hope it's good. I love these. Yeah, I can't get enough of the glimmer paper. So I'm going to be using a little bit of that. I think um, I was chatting to some of you the other day. You know, sometimes glimmer paper and, and the specialist papers come in 12 by 12. And you feel like you can't cut into them. I mean, how gorgeous is that one? Yeah, you feel like you can't cut into them. Oh, Lisa, have you not got this? <gasps> you need this. But with these glimmer papers, because you get several sheets of it, I mean, you just chop away because you've still got loads. So, yeah, fab. So I'm going to start with this one, which is the Sweet Sorbet. You need the glimmer paper too. I uh, Yes, you're all going to need the glimmer paper. Anita, you also need the glimmer paper. Yeah, grab some of this. It's gorgeous. <laughs> uh, well, I, I forgot. I put my order in today and I forgot to order several of the things that I wanted, Lisa. I don't know what I was doing. Um, but I'll um, be no doubt be putting another order in soon. And I've got this, which is the uh, scalloped contours dies. And this is the second largest one. So I've just pre-cut one of those out for us. And that's what we're going to um, kind of start creating on, really. Oh, raining and stormy in Arkansas. Well, that's no fun. Absolutely no fun at all. Um, but at least you're inside, dry, hopefully. Hopefully your house isn't leaking. And uh, watching us crafting. So all should be good. Hello, Shirley. Nice to see you. Thank you for popping on. I thought I'd catch you with my little message. <laughs> You've not brought it either, Louisa. Oh, yes, get it on that witch list. So let's get crafting, shall we? I'm going to use the Stampin' Blends because all these in colours come in the Stampin' Blends too. Oh, and more info, if you did want more info on joining the team, then it's in the description below. So you can have a look at that at your leisure. And I'm going to use the um, Sweet Sorbet Stampin' Blends. And there's a light and a dark, so you use whichever one you kind of feel like it. And I'm kind of into the ink splattering at the moment. So we're just going to do a little bit of ink splattering. And all I do is take my blend and I just rest the, the lid of it on the pen cap. And I'm just flicking. Now try and remember, if you want to do this technique, try and remember to do it at the beginning. Because the amount of times I've had to mask whatever I've put on there. Because when I get to the end, I'm like, oh, it needs something more. Uh, it needs some ink splattering. And um, by the time I've... Kind of stuck everything on. I think I'm gonna mask it all off and hide it all from my ink spots. So that's my top tip for you. Right. What should we do next? Let's stamp on a branch. So let me show you the stamp set. That's this one. And it's got some gorgeous sentiments and the cute little songbirds as well. Um although you are gonna you're gonna laugh if you've not seen anybody demonstrate this before. I was like well, I don't understand this. What is what is this? And the eyes. Um, but it looks so funny when you try and put the eyes on the bird. <laughs> Not too near a screen. And um, amount you need to clean it before you work the next day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't splatter near a screen. That is a really good tip. Um, if you do happen to splatter on anything, I'm not saying use it on your computers, but alcohol will get the um, alcohol markers off. So if you get it on your desk or onto a porous surface, a shiny surface rather, just grab a little um, cotton wool ball and a little bit of um, al rubbing alcohol. Even some hand sanitizer would work well. So I'm going to use this long branch and these leaves here. That's the two that I'm going to use to begin with. And I've got crumb cake and granny apple green. Although I haven't got any blocks, so bear with me. Let's grab a block or two. There we go, pop that one on there. So this is the crumb cake. And you just want to bear in mind that your leaves are going to go at the end of your branch. So don't have your branch coming off to the left of the right off to the left here, but we can have that about a couple of centimetres up. About there, let's go for it. And it doesn't matter that the occasional splatter is under there. I don't think that's a problem. And then we've got these cute little leaves, which are just gonna sit on the end of our branch and I'm gonna stamp those in Granny Apple Green.
Anita, I'm glad you managed to get your commenting commenting working. You've done a fab job to get that up and going. Oh. So there's our um, branches and our leaves. Now I'm going to stamp the nest. I'm going to do the nest a little bit differently to how you might have seen. I don't know, but has anybody seen this being demonstrated yet? This set. If you have, I might just do this nest slightly differently. So what I'm going to do is obviously not going to clean my stamps as I go because that's just not me. I'm going to grab this kind of nesty stamp here. I'm going to stamp it in green. I know my go-to was to stamp it in brown, but I didn't really want to. I just wanted it to be in green, and I've kind of tried to choose these this colour scheme. So this is kind of grey. Uh, sorry, green. I think this. For me, it feels like Granny Apple Green, Garden Green, Mango Melody, Sweet Sorbet, and a random colour that I couldn't figure out how to how to match. So I just left that one where it was. Yeah, all subscribe now. You've got a whole new life of Google ahead of you. <laughs> uh, thanks, Shelley. It is such a cute stamp set, this one. And I'm going to stamp this in the Granny Apple Green. Oh, no, I'm not. Turn it over. I'm going to stamp it in garden green. So where's my garden green? Here we go. I am going to need the granny apple green, but for something else in a second. So let's stamp that in. And you've always got two sides to the paper. Now leave your granny apple green out because I'm going to grab a stamp, a blending brush. <laughs> and I'm just going to blend over here and I kind of um, a lot of our wildlife will use grass to make their nests and moss and things like that so they're quite often green nests don't always get brown ones I thought we'd have something a bit different and then just fussy cut that one I think there are no dyes but they're fairly straightforward images to fussy cut Just making the edges a little bit wavier. Yeah, this is a real cute set. Petal pink. Oh, do you know what, Louisa? It petal pink might go. Yeah, petal pink might go. Let me. I'll grab that out in a minute, and we'll have a little bit of a play. And that's our nest. That's just going to sit over the top of our branch. I love it. Yeah, I think that's super cute. So then we're going to want to decorate the nest a little bit, just to give it a little bit of bling, a little bit of interest. So I've got my granny apple green again, and I'm going with the leaves. And I'm going to stamp a couple of these. You love fussy cutting. Do you know what? Honestly, I do as well, but some people really don't enjoy it. Oh, that didn't stamp very well. I moved it. Some people really, really don't enjoy it. It really is like Marmite, isn't it? It's quite relaxing. I think it really just opens up the possibilities as well. And if you've got a decent pair of paper snips, it makes all the difference. So I'm just going to fussy cut a few of these leaves out. I need six in total. Now these are a little fiddly because they're so small. You've got to get your fingers on there. I might regret doing this on camera. And you'll all be laughing at me as I've got glue all over the place. Ah, hey Claire. Hey Claire, nice to see you. Sneaking on at work, bless you. I have been known to do that in the past, but don't tell the boss. <laughs> if you've got a quiet, take, take your tea break. <laughs> have I got a favourite stamp set so far? Louisa, that is a fabulous question. 
Um, yeah, I have. And it is the hues of happiness so far. Um, I love it. I think it's brilliant. I, I love colouring anyway, as you all know. Um, so for me, that one's a good one. Um, although I just, I used the bottled, bottled happiness. Yeah, bottled happiness again today. Sneaky peeks for you because I haven't posted this one yet. But I just made this one today. I thought that was quite cute. So that's also a bit of a contender. Bottled happiness. And I've just ordered, because I know people like to know what people order. I've just, I have just ordered the new elephant set. Yes, I'm feeling much better, Claire, thank you. I had a little bit of food poisoning, I think, the other day. It wasn't very nice at all. Um, so I've ordered the new elephant set, and I've ordered the new, um, I don't know if people have seen it in the catalogue even, I hadn't, but it's the Heron set. It's got some beautiful dyes that go with it. Some loads of grasses, you can build up a real scene from it. Um, and I love herons. I think they're absolutely beautiful birds, especially when they're in flight. So I've ordered that one as well. And a few other things, I think. Might have fallen in to my basket. Oh, the piggies, the piggies went in. Right, so we've got six of those to begin with. And then I'm going to stamp a couple of these cute little flowers. So this is a bit of a, you know, it's not a quick card, but it's quite a straightforward card. But seeing as we all like crafting, it doesn't need to be really quick, does it? Just, just say, I'm just nipping upstairs, got to make a card. Right, so I'm going to get the petal pink out just to see what it looks like. This might not be a very big stamp to um, test it against, to be honest. <gasps> it is. I think that works really well. So I might do my birdie in that colour. And I'm going to do two of those flowers in petal pink. Is that your suggestion, Louisa? Thank you. I tried Calypso Coral, Pale Papaya, Stamped Off Sweet Sorbet, but for some reason, I'll tell you why I didn't think of petal pink. Look at the state of my petal pink ink. I had to write on it, my friend wrote on it for me. Because you can't, it's all faded, you can't even see what colour it is anymore. <laughs> so it doesn't help me when I'm looking at my inks for inspiration. And I'm going to stamp one of those sweets all day. The elephant one is your next set. A heron comes around, yes, the herons are the beautiful, beautiful birds. We used to get one in my garden at my dad's house. Love them. But yeah, that elephant set's just been made for you, I think, Claire. So we're going to fussy cut these tiny little flowers out. If you don't want to fussy cut flowers, obviously, if you've got gems, little flower gems, or if you've got a die set, we've got a few die sets that have got little flowers in, you could absolutely die cut them if you didn't want to do this. I had a big delivery yesterday of all the stamps for the um, May classes. So everybody who's ordered a Happy Hedgehogs class or an alternative stamp set from me, those are now all in the house and I will be getting kits ready. Classes are coming up soon. Um, or if you've ordered the online version, I'll be getting those out in the post to you soon. Which is fun, fun, fun. Lots and lots going on. Oh, and I've got another class coming up, just taking over um, a copper and card event in Emsworth. So if you're local to Emsworth and you fancy coming along for a bit of crafting on the 20th of May, uh, Friday that is, Friday morning from 10.30 till 12.30 at uh, an event called, a uh, venue called Felix and Tabitha, which is a lovely little arts and crafts shop in Emsworth. And there's loads of places to go for lunch afterwards. Then it would be fab to see you. It's just £10 for two cards. You get your cup of coffee in there as well. And I might even throw in some biscuits. If you're around and about in the vicinity, that's Hampshire in the UK. I know, sadly, those of you who are overseas aren't going to be able to join us unless you flew over one day and came and said hi hello. But it's a bit far for you to travel otherwise, really. Land on the house's roof. Oh, wow. Gosh, a heron on the roof. I bet that's a sight, isn't it? Huh. 
yes, you must have met, you must have subconsciously, they knew you wanted an elephant set. Right, so let's see if we can glue these on. Okay. And all I'm going to do is just pop a little bit of glue. When I do tiny little fiddly things like this, I find it easier rather than putting the glue on the back, I actually just put the glue on the card that I'm trying to glue on, and then you can just lay those on. You can just pop those on there. And the trick with the Tombow glue is just to kind of leave it. I mean, I can't, I'm terrible, I'm a real fiddler. But if you just leave it, it will dry. And we're going to pop a little cluster. So it's just two little clusters of two, this is. So go on then, if you've ordered already, well I've lost a leaf, oh here we go, if you've ordered already, I'd love to know what you've ordered. I like, I'm also nosy, and I like to see what people have got their hands on. If you haven't ordered, there's a whole year, so there's no rush, she says. And then all we're going to do is pop these little flowers on. So again, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue just in the where those two petals, two leaves meet. And then pop our little flowers on. Been visiting for years. Watched it fly away from the neighbour's pond with a koi cup. I know. We've got netting over our pond. Um, but we were kind of saying, what happens if we get too many fish? And someone just said, just take the net off. And let the heron deal with it. <laughs> Seems a little bit harsh, but um right, so I'm gonna pop that over there. That's our little nest. There's some little flowers growing on it. I mean that might not be very realistic, but you know, it's the nice thing about crafting is it doesn't need to be realistic. And I'm going to try this bird, this little songbird in petal pink. See how we get on with the petal. If I can find anything, I've lost the bird and I've lost the ink. It must be on a block somewhere. Here he is. So there's a small bird and there's a big bird. But I'm using the bigger of the two. And there's the ink. And if I don't like this, then I can go in with the sweet sorbet. I think we'll go sweet sorbet. Not that it doesn't match. It does, but... Um, and it works really well for these flowers. I think I'm just going to go for the main colour. I have a terrible habit of wiping the ink on my hands. Stitchery stamp set. Oh, I don't recognise that one. There's so many. I've got to learn all the names. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? And then there is a tiny little um, I'm gonna go Daffodil Delight on your beak. There's a tiny little stamp here, and it's this one, this little V shape. That's the beak to go in here and here, and it goes in both of them. So there's a lot of little stamps in this set, so do be careful when you're using it. Might not be the best one to take to a class, for example. Right. Depending on how big your class is. And that's his little beak in there. So now we're going to do the eyes. And this is where you're, uh, you're going to laugh. I did. I, think I even laughed out loud. I'm going for open eyes. And there's two joined there. And it looks like he's got glasses. And it just looks ridiculous. So I'll grab some black ink. Oh, what have you got? Um, Nature's Prince. Mm, yes, that is a good one. Okay, so this is just a memento black ink. And look at this, doesn't that look, it looks daft. <laughs> but it, work, it comes out really nicely. 
And I did have to look at the catalogue for kind of placement. There he is, his little eyes. Yeah, Amory, you got the um, sun prints as well, didn't you? Nature's prints. Oh, and the cup of tea as well. Yes, it's a good one. I've got the papers. Right, I'm going to stamp his wing. So this and this are the two that go underneath here. If you wanted those in a different colour. And this one here with the wing is the wing. And it's the same wing for both. Obviously, you've got the feet here as well. And this, this stamp set is if you wanted the eyes closed. You can have eyes closed, but we've got eyes open. So what was I looking for? I'm looking for his wing. And there is a punch to go with this, but I didn't I didn't get it. Because again, I don't mind a bit of fussy cutting. But if you didn't want to, there is a punch. So no wine before stamping those on. Definitely not. You would end up with some really wonky eyes. And I bet that I, I bet you could make it look really, really funny by putting them in the wrong place. Um, but I have tried a couple of, you know, they're not, I haven't done them all in the same place. Um, and it looks okay. It comes out okay. It doesn't really seem to matter what kind of angle you get it on. But it did take me a bit of um, an attempt before I was willing to put stamp to paper, to be honest. And I went through the catalogue and had a bit of a look and saw what the samples looked like. I've seen somebody do a fab um, version of this, like Angry Birds. That was quite cool. They've made them into Angry Birds. So if you, they might be on Pinterest. I can't remember where I saw it, but it, that was so cool for a kid's theme or for anybody who likes Angry Birds. It's so effective. You've got the Sun Prince Sweetly. Oh, Hues of Happiness. Yes. Isn't that paper divine? Love it. And the Songbirds Bundle, but I haven't been able to play with them yet. Oh, this is fab. So hopefully this will give you an idea what to do with your Songbird Bundle. I did gift a, a card to my new teamie today because it's got this on it. Look, welcome. So happy you're here. So I did a mix of the Hues of Happiness, if you can imagine it, because I've given it away to her today. Um, but it had um, a circle blended and then some of the hues of happiness flowers coming round in a circle, um, cut out from the design series paper, a little songbird in its nest, and one flying in from the side as well. And she loved it. So that was good. Oh, was it Kylie? Did the Angry Birds. It's really, really cool. So clever. Some people, I mean, how some people just think out of the box is beyond me. Right, so that's his little wing, or her little wing. Is it a girl or is it a boy? Probably a little girl bird, this one. And that's just going to pop on like that. So again, just going to pop a little bit of glue, just there. And then popping the wing on. And then it's just a case of figuring out where you want it to go, really. So I think we'll have it coming out like that. And um, I'm going to leave the nest in place. And I'm going to stick a little bit of glue on the back here. And then holding that nest in place, just tucking this under. You don't want to put them too far in because you want to be able to see the tail and the, the breast there. Okay, a couple of dimensionals on the back of this one. Wherever are my dimensionals? I'm forever losing them. There we go. One, two, three. You can just pop that on. Over the top like that. So there's a lovely greeting in this one, which is an, 
a little note of thanks. And that's the one I'm going to use. Sometimes it's just really nice to have a stack of cards. I've got more to send. I sent out a little stack the other day and I've made a, a pact with myself that I'm going to, um, throughout the month of May, just keep sending a, a few cards at a time, which I think would be really nice. Because I make so many and uh, it's just really nice to be able to send them out to people. So this is just going to go straight on. You could, if you wanted to, pop this up on um, like a little die cut or something like that. But we're just going to pop this up. I'm just going to move it up straight. A little note of thanks. Now, the only last thing that you might want to add are some of those um, notes. And I'm going to add them in black, I think, just to show my little songbird is singing away in his nest. It's a cute little bird, isn't he? Very, very cute indeed. So because I've done black with the eyes, I think I can get away with black. Hello, Sue. Nice to see you. How have you been keeping? Oh, he's so cute, isn't he? You could use those notes for all sorts as well. So love that. That's our little panel. And then the card we're going to use is this one here. It is, it's a really, really cute, and I know some people aren't into cutesy, but it's a really cute set. I wouldn't say cutesy is my go-to, but I couldn't resist. Being the songbird stamper, and having a, basically, I had on the catalog um, PDF launch day where the demonstrators saw the PDF, I had about three or four people text me to say, you've got a stamp set for you. I thought, yeah, it's brilliant. So that's just going to go on there, but I have got some of the stunning glimmer paper. So let's grab our sweet sorbet glimmer paper. And I think we're going to go for the light one. So it, it um, ombre. Not only is it glimmer, it's ombre. So you could cut it this way and have it going, um, actually seeing the ombre. Or you could just cut some of the light or some of the dark. Or, you know, you've got loads and loads of choices. Ah, uh, thanks, guys. Shirley said, very sweet. You're okay but busy gardening. Oh, God, do you know what, Sue? Our garden is getting neglected. Russ came in this evening at about 20 minutes to me going live and said, I think the hedges are out of control. We need to do something about it. I was like, oh, that's good. <laughs> um, not quite sure what I want to do about it right now. Um, we don't know what we're doing with the garden. We keep kind of chopping bits back and if it survives, it survives. Um, so there we go. So this, um, this card is slightly kind of for the american people it's probably your standard size card base for us it's a little bit different so i'm going to measure it because i'm not entirely sure it is inches i think so four and a quarter inches so i've cut this little strip of design series paper to i don't know what that is i've just made it i've just cut it randomly to be honest yeah just about about a centimeter and a half by four and a quarter inches, just to confuse you all. Ah, uh, thanks, Emma. I thought I'd have a little play with this one. And that's just going to go along the middle like that. And it just breaks the background up a little bit. Just breaks it up. So we'll pop that on with some glue. I'm going to try and stick it on straight. Can't promise you anything, but. I love the grid paper, and the grid paper is one of the things you'll get if you join your, your buy your starter kit now as well, and join the fabulous um, team. You would get some grid paper, in colour grid paper, and I use it for lining up. Um, so I'm just I've lined my card up straight, although I do want it on the one above, and I'm just going to line it up on my grid paper. So I've got this line here and this line here. Stick that down. And then you know you've got your 
for the paper on straight as well. You could put this up on dimensionals if you wanted to, but I didn't want the double layer because it's going to go in the post. Ah, uh, thanks, Lisa. Cutie, a little cutie pie. And then, and there's so much. I keep saying the in colour this, in colour that. There's quite a lot of in colour products, and I'm not. I haven't even got the gems out yet. The in colour gems. So that's going on flat, and I've got some twine. Believe it or not, some in colour twine. So we'll grab the sweet strawberry one. Tie a little bow. Chop the end off because it got the ends normally get a bit straggly. Ah, uh, thank you, Lisa. I don't like the green grid paper on the back, but can you ask? Yes, you can ask. That's a fabulous question. Um, and I, I'll tell you where it came from. It came from a quote. Um, it came from a quote that I loved. And it the quote is, um, the songbird doesn't sing because it has an answer. The songbird sings because it has a song. And I don't know who said the quote, but to me, it meant that you don't always need to know the answers. You don't always need to know where you're going. Live your life. It's a bit, it's a bit deep, but <laughs> you did ask. Live, live your life um, and just go with it. So just sing your song. You don't have to always know. And so that, that quote I loved um, about the time that I was setting up my business and um, so the songbird stamper. Although if I tell you something, and I don't know if I should, you'll not be able to hear my business name in the same way ever again. And my other half, bless him, says that um, all he can think about when he hears the songbird stamper is stamping on little songbirds. I think that's horrible, <laughs> bless him. So no, it's not because I want to stamp on all the songbirds because I love them but because I think they just sing. And I, I love the I love the sound of bird song too. There we go. A little bit of twine. And we'll pop some gems on here. I've just gone for the basic standard rhinestones. These are my go-to. There are in colour gems as well. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. It's it's yeah. You wouldn't you wouldn't guess, would you? That's that's where it came from. Philosophical. And then into the centre of the flowers. I'm just gonna pop the gems. I struggle with gem placement. Anybody else? I can have gems coming off and on and off and on the card. But these ones are definitely going there, so I can stick those down. And there it is. A little note of thanks. Oh, they're so lovely, aren't they? Just to hear them chirping, chirping away. And then obviously that goes with its envelope there as well. And I love the coordinating envelopes. Who wouldn't like to get that landing through the, the post? Perfect. Should we do another one in a different color? I've got one in um, Starry Sky as well to show you. So if you fancy sticking around, um, We'll make another one. Exactly the same. It's nothing, no, nothing surprising. So if you do want to disappear, I totally understand. But if you're still around, still got time, these are the envelopes for the starry sky. Gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Ah, uh, thank you, Anita. Thanks, Katie. Hello. Nice to see you. Hopped on there, nice and quietly. And we'll grab a card. Isn't that stunning? I love it. Really, really different. So the end result of this card is, I mean, it's, it, it's the same, but it, it comes out really different. And I'm gonna go again. So we've got the Starry Sky blend. 
This is the dark starry sky, or I might go with the lights. Ah, you'd like to see another one. Oh, no worry, no worries, Katie. You're you're not late. You're starting starting again. You're going to get to see it all again, just in a different colourway. So I'm going to go with the lights. For my splattering, I think. And depending on how kind of heavy you want it, you can do as much or as little splattering as you want. Yeah, it's good to have things on the calendar. Though these envelopes are pretty, like really pretty. Yeah, they are stunning. I was hoping I had one spare leaf left over, but I'm not sure I have. Oh, there he is. Yep. So I've got one already cut there. Yeah, these note cards and envelopes are gorgeous. Should we find out how much? Should I tell you how much they are? Because I can't remember. No, I can do this now, can't I? <gasps> I can show you the inside of the catalogue. And this is the Hues of Happiness suite. Isn't that stunning? I feel naughty doing this. It's been such a long time that we haven't been able to show the inside of the catalogue for. I feel like I'm being a, a rebel. So at the back, they're at the back somewhere. Here we go. They're actually the tea boutique cards and envelopes. You get 20 card bases and 20 envelopes for £9.50. So if my maths works out about right, that's 50 pence a card. Just 50 pence. And they coordinate with the lovely tea boutique papers as well, but I didn't feel like you needed to use it with those. I think that's a bad price for 20 cards and envelopes, personally. Especially not with such a gorgeous design on. Right, let's cut some more of these leaves out. This is probably the most fiddly bit. This and the flowers. So once this bit's done, most of your work is over. Oh, I think it's good value as well, Shirley. Yep. Especially because they give such gorgeous backgrounds to your cards as well. So it's a really good starting point. Exactly, Katie. Yeah, love them. And I've used it, I've used quite a few actually. I've used the um, Tahitian Tide. Sometimes I buy things like this and I don't really use them, but these are good. In quite a lot of use. Right, so there's our six leaves and we need three little flowers. So the colours I'm using for this, look, you can even use up your tiny, tiny little scraps because these flowers are so small. Just got to try and find the stamp. There he is. And there's my beak. Let's not lose that. Get this chamois. And we've got uh, Orchid Oasis. I'm going to do one in Orchid Oasis. And I'm going to do two in um, Fresh Freezer. This one is. So two in the Fresh Freezer. And this Fresh Freezer works really, really well with the. Um, Starry Sky and the Orchid Oasis. Quite different, but actually in, in this instance it works quite well. You can't see what I'm doing, so let me do this on camera. I have a habit of fussy cutting right close to me. Them away, you can't see you, you guys can't see what I'm doing. There we go, one, one of your next crochet projects is a goose. Oh, wow. 
not quite such songbirds as the no this one is a real little cutie I said I paired it with the hues of happiness flowers the other day I wasn't quite sure how it was going to work because they're quite different images this is quite blocky and the um, papers from the hues of happiness are a bit more watercolor like but it worked I think it worked really well together so don't be scared to mix and match. So there's three flowers, six leaves. Let's pop those just to one side for a second and we will do our nest again. Oh, pull that off. This is where I wish I cleaned my stamps. So this is going to be in garden green, same colour. Ah, oh, pattern's really cute. Uh, yeah, I kind of sometimes wish I could crochet. Sometimes don't kind of have enough time to do what I want to do, let alone other crafts. So maybe it's a good thing I can't. A little bit of granny apple green. Blending brush. Just start off to the side so you get the worst of it off on the side. It's one area darker than the other. It's just a little brushing I think there really. Just you cut this, just again, giving it a bit of a wavy pattern down the side just to make it look like a, a nest. How much do I hear you on lack of time? You are, and I haven't got any children, Katie, so um, <laughs> I don't know how I can complain. Bless you. Yep. I just seem to... One of those things, isn't it? Like, especially with, with, with crafting, I tend to get into a creative kind of rut when I've got loads of time, and then when I haven't got much time, I don't know which way up to do this? I'm wondering whether to do it this way, just because there's less um, dots around here, so it'll look a bit less weird with my branch kind of coming through here. Let's go for it. Sometimes you just got to put stamps to paper. Um, and then as soon as I kind of go back to work, I'm like, oh, now I feel now I feel creative. I've got loads of ideas now. But totally the wrong time. Green apple green leaves. Just right on the edge there. Then we've got our nest. We'll build that up with the flowers first. So six leaves, three flowers. Oh, come on, little little things. Just pop a little bit of glue there and there. Okay. A little bit like creating in miniature. I did do, I don't know if anybody, um, some of you might have seen, um, I created a miniature couple of miniatures last year um they were fab to do really really enjoyed them kind of like a minute it was one was a miniature greenhouse and one was a miniature um patio garden i might have to do some more of those actually because it was lovely quite therapeutic to do there we go so there's our little leaves and then just a dot of glue where they join where the bases of them join and you can pop on flowers there. Lovely fussy cutting. I mean, I'm sure you're getting more speedy with your cutting. 
I am trying to get more speedy with my cutting, especially when I'm on film, because I am conscious that you guys don't want to sit there for hours watching me fussy cut. Although some people say they find actually watching people fussy cutting as relaxing as kind of doing it for themselves. You find that so often you're inspired when you're all, yes. Oomph and ideas go when it arrives. That is the way, yeah. Let's have a, a little cup of that on there. Paralyzed with lack of creativity. Yeah, you just find yourself scrolling through social media, don't you? As a result, not really, not really achieving an awful lot. Right, let's grab some card. Um, a little bit more basic white card. I don't know if I'm going to get him on there. Or I might do just. Right, let's have a go. I don't need much more. I don't want to get a whole fresh sheet out if I can help it. Clean him off. Oh, is it? It's relaxing to watch. We were having this conversation with somebody the other day, how sometimes it can appear quiet when you do a live video and people aren't chatting much. And somebody said, but it's just because you're literally sat back relaxing. You've done enough fussy. Yes, Anne-Marie has been fussy cutting for her swaps this week. So this is fresh freesia. And I'm just going to stamp that. Isn't that stunning? And the little wing, we'll do that at the same time. Yeah, you have had a lot of fussy cutting to do. I don't really envy you for that one, but are you finished with it? Are you all done with it? Kind of reminds me of a whale. This just that that tail, I think it is. Just as I was cutting that little bit out there, he really comes to life when you get his beak and the eyes and the the wing on there. We've got a lovely robin in our garden. I think robins are possibly my favourite birds. And um, he comes really close. It's very friendly. And I'm going to try over the next few years and get to the stage where he'll eat out of my hand. But he comes really, really close while I'm working in the garden. Just finished 72 flowers, not including the leaves. Oh, bless you. Yeah, I don't, I don't envy you. Right, so let's grab his beak. And we'll do that in Daffodil Delight again. I do know what they, and that's why I like them, Amory. Yeah, reminds me. When Robins, what, what is it again? Loved ones are near or something like that. When Robins appear, loved ones are near. Yeah, I like that. Right, so his eyes, and I am going to stamp these in um, black again. Let's go black. It is dedicated, isn't it? Lots and lots of fussy cutting. Right, so let's. Just looks odd. Really, it's really disconcerting. But you just got to go for it. And it looks fine when you've stamped it. They are, they're lovely birds. Right, where's his wing gone? There it is. Let's chop that off. And just a little bit, this is the easiest way of doing this. Pop a little bit of glue just onto the main body. And then you can just pop your, or his, or hers wing on. That's it, right, we're getting there. Some glue on the back of here. Oops, a bit much there. 
Katie, you'll have to say thank you to Gary for reminding you of our little live crafting session this evening. So that's going to go like that. A couple of dimensionals on the back of this. Yes, this is. It does have a punch. I don't have the punch, though. Um, I decided not to get the punch. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, I'm, I bought it for the bottled happiness because I want to do shaker cards because I've got some lovely, lovely sequins. And I thought that would go really, really nicely. So yes, this does come with a punch if you wanted to purchase it as part of the bundle. All right, this one's gonna go. But I, yeah, I thought this green nest was a little bit different. I've seen lots of the brown nests and decorated with these little flowers. So again, I'm gonna go starry sky for my greeting using the same greeting. Um, something a little bit boring today. Sorry, I should have probably come up with something a bit more inventive. But you know, if it works, it works. And we've got a little note of thanks. So now this is in Starry Sky. So again, I'm just going to pull this closer to me so that I can line this up. Up the top there. Again, if you wanted to, you could pop that up onto um, a little um, die cut or something. There's some lovely stitched die cuts in the new catalogue. Can I get the effervescent? Yes, I have got the effervescent elements. They are so lovely. Isn't that gorgeous in Fresh Freesia, Shirley? It's beautiful. And look, when I put this onto the background, how good do those two colours work together? Aren't they gorgeous? I think that works really well. And for the notes on this one, I've actually gone for Orchid Oasis. So something a little bit paler. I didn't want the black, like I've gone for the black on the red, just because it kind of stands out. And I didn't know what other colour to do it in, really, is the honest answer why they're black on there. But I thought we'd go for um, Orchid Oasis ones on this one. And then you can just pop some of those notes. You could do Starry Sky as well. I just kind of wanted to do something a little bit different. There we go. So uh, I've got a little bit of glimmer paper to get. And I should have one already half cut. I've just got to find it. Here it is. And again, I'm going to go for the lighter. It does really make it pop off, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was quite effective. So again, about a centimetre and a half. And this was by four and a quarter inches. Shouldn't probably use my good trimmer for cutting glimmer paper because it can dull the blade. Um, but you know, such is life. I'm, we haven't got time. Life's too short, as they say. Probably should get two trimmers. A little bit of glue on the back of that one. And again, I've just lined this up on my grid paper. And then I'm going to stick it down about here. You might want to go a bit higher, but somewhere round about there. This one's going to go on flat. And it just adds that interest, a little bit of interest in the background. Oh, come on, come here. And then because we've got all five of the colours of the twine, Means we can grab a little bit of the starry sky twine as well, which is great. Tie that into a little bow. And a glue dot.
just to stick that on at the side there. And then a couple more dimensionals, uh, not dimensionals, rhinestones. You could add them anywhere you wanted to really, but I thought they looked quite cute in the centre of these little flowers. And then that's our second card. I hope you like them. I thought that was really quite effective. So we've got one and two. I wonder which one's your favourite, red or blue? Have to do a vote, red or blue? I think I know which one's my favourite. And it might be the one with my favourite colour in. Uh, you're more than welcome, Anita. It's my absolute pleasure. I'm just gonna turn my grid paper over just because I don't like that green out there. I want you guys to see the full effect of these gorgeous cards. Blue, I thought it would be blue for you. Let's get that going. Where, where are we? There we go. Lovely cards, thank you. Do I add anything to the envelope or not? I am not going to add anything to the envelope because they're so pretty. You could um, stamp another songbird and pop it on if you wanted to. But no, I'm not going to add anything to the envelopes this time because I think job done for us. And blue's your favourite as well. Thoroughly enjoyed watching the live. Oh, you're more than welcome, Shirley. I'm here every Thursday night unless I'm working, but I will be scheduling them all on Facebook. Um, so five, normally five weekend, five Thursdays out of six. And I'm on a six week rolling cycle. So if you ever get your head around it, you'll be able to figure out which one's which. But I wouldn't blame you if you didn't. Um, blue for you, Anita, as well. Gorgeous from both, but blue the fave. Oh, blue is, blue is coming up trumps. Thank you so much, Louise. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks for sticking by with me for, for the hour. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly have. I love coming on here and crafting. It's been a long time since I've done it, but this is our third Thursday live now, and I'm really loving them. So thank you for watching. Um, and if you would like the video, I'd be love it if you could actually give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And then if you could, it would be fab to share it as well and get more people watching and uh, commenting and involved. Thank you. Thank you so much. I will be back next week. Uh, thanks, Katie. I will do. If you've ever got anything you'd like to see me demonstrate with, any techniques, any stamp sets, please do get in touch. Drop me a, a comment. Drop me a line. I'd love to um, kind of provide videos that you guys want to watch. Um, that's why I do them, so that you guys can watch them. So, yeah, throw me some suggestions if you ever feel like it. And other than that, I'll see you next Thursday at 8pm. Take care guys, great to see you all. Bye for now.